Good evening, I am TB Ham, and I am bringing you a requested cast game from a teammate of mine, uh, kind of just showing his playstyle. And without any further talk from me, go ahead and introduce our players in the bottom left of Star Station. It is our blue Protoss player, it is Reality. And his opponent, the red Terran player. Super cool name he has here, it is one troll. He's not going to respond to the good luck half fun, it seems. How upsetting. Well, some players just have to be like that. Uh, one draw is going to go play a little scary here. Sketchy. Put his depot not even at the wall. He's just he's not even afraid. This is a pretty big map, so uh, trying to like do any sort of two-gating would um, be difficult. Um, it is nice to hide things, though, since it is so large. And right, there's a little nook over here. Kind of crams something, especially if... If reality had decided to just go in and go for like a counter or something, be able to sneak a probe in. And since there's nothing at the wall, he wouldn't have seen it for a really long time. Uh, but one troll's going to go for a Rax first. Um, see if he'll go for any gas. He's going to go for a gas on 12. I'll probably be seeing a Reaper. Reaper, just a Reaper expands. Or something similar to that coming out of him. And reality is. He's just got his normal 13 gate. And going to go scout. Everything fairly normal coming from both these players. Um, this is the second game I have done of realities in his PVT style. Uh, first game of his uh, was quite frightening for him for a little bit. Actually, got his second base just completely sniped while he was across the map. Uh, he managed to come back and win that game though. So we'll see how he ends up faring here. If he's if he wins it a little bit safer or something else happens. Um, Rowdy is getting here and he's going to see everything. Actually, he somehow managed to not see the gas yet, uh, but he does now. And given the time on it and how much gas this has been mined, he'll know there's going to be a Reaper coming out. And he can leave. He can stick around if he'd like to to see what's coming out of here, but um, he likely already knows that it is going to be a Reaper. Um, one troll is actually is, is going to be scouting close position, and since this is a ladder match um, you know, on Star Station, they are cross only, but... It won't harm him too badly, especially since reality is playing quite standard. Uh, Montreal won't be able to get in and try to deny this expansion at all if he really wanted to do so, but um, oh well for him. And Montreal is actually just going to go for a reactor as soon as as soon as that Rax or that Reaper finished, and he hasn't pulled off gas yet, um, so he could go for a factory quite soon. Uh, he's actually just going to expand on the high ground. Uh, even even without walling off, he's he's trying to play safe. Uh, given there isn't too much of a distance here, he's not going to lose too much. He'll lose maybe uh, an SCV and a half or so of time flying, but not a big deal. And he does get in, and he does see that there's a natural coming, and he has seen all the tech coming out of uh, coming out of reality. And he and just now getting his second gas up, and I imagine he did see. Yeah, he saw only well, saw two pylons, so he could be could feel frightened if he'd like to. Uh, Stalker's already out, so this Reaper's not going to be able to do too much, and actually, they're going to run into each other, and if one troll isn't paying attention, he's able to get it out, though, but um, Stalker is going to push that away immediately. Uh, Reaper wanting to get in and stick around and try to get any scouting done, but oh well. And actually, a second gas has come down for one troll, uh, so it looks like he will be going for some techs. Actually, he's going to go straight into double engineering bay uh, before his CC even finishes, and actually, he's getting two more Reapers uh, before he starts making any Marines. Um, a, a handful of Reapers can do well against a Stalker, and given that they are all together, and they're about to run into the Stalker. And they are going to run into the Sorry, his pathing there seemed a little um, fishy, but the Stalker is, is going to die, but oh, he barely, he, he just kind of missed the the micro click to click the correct reaper that was almost dead to kill that but uh, there's already a stalker and a mothership core back home so it's not a big deal and he is chronoing out another stalker just to be super safe two more gateways and a rebel facility coming up for reality and he's just gonna he's gonna set back and micro up uh, he hasn't actually he hasn't seen if there's an expansion yet and seeing two more reapers um, there's not much else that it could necessarily be unless he's trying to do some sort of reaper all and that's probably why he put chrono on that stalker his second stalker so he's able to get in here and two stalkers will beat three reapers one troll is going to have to turn around and go home, and he hasn't actually seen anything. He, doesn't, he hasn't seen, he's seen just as little tech as uh, Reality has, so not a big deal. And he's actually, I mean, 1-1 one, one, one one is, is 
25% done already before his second two racks come up and factory at the same time. Uh, he's going to be heavy on upgrades, super, super fast. Uh, it'll give him a nice little advantage. Um, I mean, Protoss do have their Chronos. So they are, they are able to get upgrades quickly if they'd like to. And actually, Force Field Dude is actually going to work against him, but he does use a Nexus Cannon and goes ahead and just takes out those two Reapers. Uh, there was an Armor that also popped, and he may have got one of the kills now. I believe the Nexus got both those kills. Uh, actually, I can't see in this overlay. Well, never mind then. <laughs> oh, well. And one troll is, is going to respond by putting down three bunkers. Uh, I guess seeing the Immortal, and, well, there's only one sentry out. He may be expecting a bust. Uh, and actually a fourth and fifth bunker come up, so he's definitely expecting there to be a bust. And with as little production as he has going right now, uh, since it is just the one Rax, and he is making two tech labs off of this other Rax, uh, he's going to be super light on units right for a while. Uh, so he's going to have to play super safe, but uh, that's a lot of minerals thrown in right now. Uh, that could be going into extra barracks. And <laughs> Rowdy's going to come in here. You'll see two two uh, bunkers up front. Uh, he's like, okay, well, I can't push in there if I, even if I wanted to. And he doesn't want to anyway, but he does get one stalker sniped. Uh, he's going he's to poke back in again just to make sure. He actually hasn't seen all of the bunkers that are back here. Um, and I'm just going to eventually, one troll will likely salvage most of those uh, once he decides to actually scan. But uh, he hasn't scanned yet. And Rowdy isn't actually pressuring. Uh, he does have a, a few immortals. He's going to get up to his third immortal quite soon. Uh, but he does have a Twilight Council out. Uh, no forges are up just yet. And he's just now taking his third and fourth gases. Um, so his tech is, is quite delayed. Uh, but this little smattering of units is actually are going to move out, maybe? It doesn't seem like it. And one troll does scan. He sees there's only two sentries. And there are three immortals, though. And he is immediately just salvages C3 bunkers that are back here. Uh, it's a bit overkill getting five bunkers. But... Um, when the only thing that can kill you is your front getting busted down and you think that's what's coming, you may as well do it. So, uh, Not a big deal, but just a little bit of lag behind in his uh, production capabilities right now. Uh, he did have, he does have 1-1 one, one finish. He isn't quite going into 2-2 two, two just yet. He doesn't really have the money to do so. Um, uh, he likely had to skip some SCVs in order to get all these bunkers up. And so he is kind of low on the SCV count, even though he did get his second, or his second CC relatively quickly. Um, so his income is, is hurting a little bit. He does have 1-1 one, one finished. Uh, Stem is uh, going to be finished in just a little bit. Combat Shield just finishing up. And he's going to push out. And once he gets over two realities uh, neck of the woods, he's going to have Stem done. And he's going to be able to put on a little bit of pressure. And with nothing that really AoEs at the moment, there is a Templar Archives that is just now starting, but I don't think it really AoEs. Uh, Zealot Charge is just about done. So uh, it'll be a nice little amount of... And there's going to be an engagement here, and force fields are going to cut off, the, cut this army almost in half, and make them take an extremely long route. And without Stim, they weren't able to actually retreat uh, well at all. Uh, he may just, he may pick up and go home. Or he may pick up and try to drop in somewhere. Uh, there are some observers around. Is that the first one? Yes, yeah, so that is the only observer that's out right now. And one troll does see exactly what's coming on, and he does see that the zealots are moving super fast. So he knows the charges, and he doesn't want to get caught. Uh, force field again, so he's spreading quite nicely, and he's going to take this engagement, and he's really quite far down in arm supply, and it's kind of a, a very poor choice for him. He lost a, a good amount of units for basically nothing. Uh, doesn't really seem like he killed all that much. I mean, units lost tab right now. Uh, he's, he's down by 500 and this early in the game, especially since he didn't really have this much production, and he's still on these three barracks, and two of them have tech labs, so this production now is limited to two marauders and two marines at a time. Uh, he is adding on a couple more barracks, and 2-2 uh, is about 40% done, so uh, his upgrades are still kicking in, are going to be quite heavy. Uh, but meanwhile, Reality does have his, his two forges, and his third is actually completed and almost completely saturated already. Uh, so Reality's looking at a good spot right now. Storm just about to complete this drop, is going to come in, and it's will likely get a good amount of damage done. There is one cannon morph again, this Robo Bay back here, uh, but there really isn't much to defend. His army is out in the middle, and he hasn't had observers all over the map be able to see this coming in. This drop's going to come in and likely kill off a good amount of probes. Uh, and he could take one meta back here and one meta back to the main and eventually this, yes. Militia Core will come back here and use overcharge but the Robo Bay gets sniped and he's just going to get out. Um, he'll take that as a good enough of a victory. Um, this cannon, actually the, <laughs> the mothership planetary nexus manages to take out one of the meta backs along with his cannon. Um, so, not a whole lot lost. He did lose the resources that he had he sunk into building the Robo Bay, and he doesn't have it done now. Uh, but that's not his. that wasn't his major tech boy. Uh, 
tech choice, so it's not the biggest of losses for him. He does have, what is this, three Templar at the moment? Two Templar at the moment. Um, so he's, he's okay for his AoE damage. Storm is finished. Plus one armor finished and plus one ground weapons on the way. And this, uh, it's again, reality is kind of sitting on these two forges with only one of them doing any work. And he has the money to use them. So uh, just a small lapse there. Uh, just a ton of zealots right now. <laughs> That's really all his army is. Just a whole lot of zealots. And this zealot is going to take out this one marine. Um, and yeah. My tower, <laughs> reality. Uh, he's, he's he's laid his foot down. He wants this tower, and it's his. Uh, meanwhile, one troll has taken his own tower, just as distinctively. And since he did see, I'm not sure if this if this game is prior to the Hellbat change or uh, before it. So I'm not necessarily sure. It looks like it's after, since they only have 18 damage, and Blue Flame isn't done. So uh, he is going to be adding on a lot of Hellbats since. Reality is, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Reality, our own troll is is quite upset since he saw those immortals and expecting that all in, and it never came, which you know did put one troll behind a little bit. Uh, yeah. Folks, <laughs> my read was good. No, apparently it was not, since uh, you added a bunch. He's actually added, he added on two ghost academies. I, I missed that coming in, um, but he's he's going a pretty heavy. Wow. Uh, Kind of, I'm kind of angry that the all-in didn't come. I mean, toss are pretty good all-ins, and this this hellbat's gonna stomp across the map on his own. I guess he's gonna he's gonna go fight this this zealot. I, I guess uh, plus one plating hellbat will do pretty good, but uh, he this zealot has some backup now, uh, so he's gonna do just fine. Uh, there are ghosts coming. I guess he, I don't know why he got those two academies. He expects, I don't know if you get more than one academy, you might want to see nukes come out of that. Uh, he's just gonna get both. <laughs> Restating his claim for that tower, um, he's going to get both of the upgrades at once. But it doesn't seem to be doing that. Uh, Cloak is on the way first before uh, the energy upgrade for ghosts. Um, but perhaps some nukes will come out since he does have the extra ghost academy. It'll be fun to see. Uh, but since it is so zealot and templar heavy, he definitely wants to have these these ghosts for EMPs. But at the same time, reality is actually he's going up to two more. Uh, Robo facilities and adding on classes right now. Uh, I mean, currently only has one, and range isn't quite finished yet. It's just about finished. Uh, but once he starts pumping out three at a time, versus just this one reactor, yes, one starport at the moment, uh, he'll be doing quite well with that. Um, yeah, so three three not quite on the way for our Terran player. He does have two two finished, and plus two ship plating is going to be finished soon. Uh, but Rally is is meeting him for these up or matching him for these upgrades. Plus two grab weapons just about finished, uh, and he's gonna push out here. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna get two two finished, and he will probably try to do some sort of attack then. Uh, and that's a lot of ghost out. Um, EMP is is a pretty good unit, uh, and a very nice spread already from the Terran player. He knows storms are gonna be the biggest part of this uh, army, and the Zealot's ability to go from unit to unit. If these are all bunched up and the Zealots charge in, uh, obviously they're they're next to you already. So having them spread out. The Zelts are going to have to move from pack to pack in order to do any damage, along with just Storm and the Colossus internal. Um, but this really does, and there are, are there any observers with this army? It doesn't look like there's any observers, and a huge EMP goes off. Uh, is he, gonna, he gets all the Templar too, but those Templar are going to be made into... And there is there was an observer somewhere, but he lost all of his shields, and that's going to be a hint for him to engage, and he does just that. Uh, but supply is... It looks like this is kind of evening out. Uh, I don't think one a little upset because he had the perfect engage and he, he is losing this quite badly, but his army supply, but he set up a smaller army at that point. Um, yeah. Okay, he's going he's to complain about the uh, about the, the balance for a little bit, but yeah, it's true. He, he had lots of ways to ruin reality's economy, and he just didn't do it, so killed 15 workers. No, well, I guess he did. Hmm. Well, regardless. You didn't build units back home, and if reality gets this manor nexus off, I will be I'll be pretty happy. Um, yeah, he's, he's gonna drop a lot of manor nexus. He's gonna manor nexus his way across the map. It seems. Where's this bro? But here's the manor ne map hacks too good. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> one troll is doing a little bit of trolling of being quite sour about that game not going his way, and reality will take the victory here. Um, it was. A rather decent engagement for the Terran player, but with the EMPs going off and basically the entire army, it's just his army supply was just a lot lower, and Ghost's D 
DPS is, is not all that high outside of uh, sniping. And with the amount of AoE and just playing army units that reality had, he was able to take this victory. Alright, well, <laughs> that'll do it for this game. Once again, I am TB Ham. You can find me on Twitter, TB Ham SC. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try to do some uploading as much as I can. Uh, submit replays of your own if you'd like directly to me, uh, tremoneham at gmail.com, or you can put them on r slash cast it on Reddit. I try to grab a lot of replays from there as well. Um, and go check out my team, Team Extraterrestrials, extraterrestrials.us. And until next time.